We are working on S4 public instance from SAP Cloud with the following requirement where it is needed to create a CBO custom business object to have the possibility to store some data and also access from a user interface like in the typical SAP on-premise system where we have the, the table generator to access the data. We want to proceed with the, the same uh, situation in uh, S4 instance in cloud uh, using the application custom business object. This is needed in the, the Fiori Launchpad to create uh, the data source. And the intention for this session is to have uh, a table with two fields and also activate uh, from the options available to activate the possibility to use uh, the generated user interface and also the backend service. We have a dependencies of on all those behaviors that we will activate on this object. So first, custom business object. This is the tile that we need to create the object. We will go with the option new. In here, we will just mention environment URL. The idea of this table is to store the data of the URLs that we have in the development quality and the production system. And we will use the scenario that is the standard for this custom business object. For more details about variant tables in AVC, we can go to help uh, sap.com where we can see different scenarios uh, or approach where uh, this uh, type of custom business object should be used, uh, scenario type for the extensibility and also keep in mind the different data types that uh, are not available, uh, for example, in these AVC configuration models. In our case, we are going to proceed with the standard types. So we will go with the create for the creation of the object. And when the object it is presented on our screen, we can see on the first tab on the general information that we have the features. And one of the features is user interface. When we will flag this user interface, we will activate also the backend service. We have that dependencies. First generated user interface will be needed and also the service that will provide the operations that we will activate. And with the operation, we are referring on the nodes. For example, for this principal node, we have the create, update, and delete. Read is automatically enabled. So we have the crude operation, create, read, update, and delete, and also the possibility to create new sub nodes. For this uh, node is not our case, uh, we can uh, select it and uh, delete it to proceed with uh, the features and uh, the business requirement to have like a table generated in S4 in this public instance. As we can see in the general information, we won't go with the can be associated because this CBO can be associated in others. We can also uh, enable the data for the system administrative data and the change documents and also we can manage the data access. We will keep it simple. We will go to the fields where we can add all the fields with the option of new. We will create the first field. We will label this as environment and also A and V for the identifier. We will leave it as text for uh, the type. Uh, we will mark it as uh, the key for this uh, table. And also we will keep in mind the land is automatically prompted with the value 20. In our case, uh, this field is not read-only since it's the key of the table, but we can also uh, proceed with read-only for other fields if that is the case. This kind of approach uh, of uh, the read-only field, it will be used when determination and validation uh, is activated where we can uh, establish the logic and the events that will act or the actions where we can determine the value of a field without leaving the possibility to the user to add the data. We can mark it as read-only and do a determination for that field. It's not the case, so we will just disable the determination and validation to go with the next field. We will need the second field that will be the URL, for example. We can leave it with the same identifier. In this case, we will switch to the web address. Uh, we can see that the default length is 80. We will just change it to 250, for example, to have a different uh, value, different length for the URLs. 
and now we can proceed with the publish to publish this object in uh, our uh, system and after that the object will be activated published in our custom business object list and also for this object we will just see the general information with the possibility to uh, generate the user interface but first we will need to do another activity uh, to provide the backend service that will be done in another video for the moment we will keep it simple just the creation of this uh, custom business object with the fields that we need we can see that the object it is published we can also maintain uh, this object in different catalogs is not the case for the moment uh, we do not have the uh, generated user interface that will uh, give us the possibility to have uh, like an application where we can create update or delete the data because uh, we will need to proceed with another activity that it will be done in the next video so thank you